coming in Monday, drunk. Oh, this tastes like beer spray. I like it. Oh, that's a perfect, oh, that's a perfect summary. So what do we got today, Sean? So we're finishing off a variety pack of Surly Brewing Company's Key Lime Supreme. This is a tart ale with key lime added. Man, oh man, you nailed it with like the Sprite, with like a boozy Sprite, but not that seltzer crap. Yeah, this is for like the dudes who are too tough to drink seltzers. This is their excuse to drink a beer that tastes good. Yeah, that's spot that's on. Real beer, it's real beer. It says it on the cans and tart ale. And for the second week in a row, I'm gonna <laughs> put my beer pint in a number six with cheese koozie. Sorry about that, very eye-opening sound. Oh my God, dude. It's like, I feel like a high school kid again, trying to get drunk, but not liking the taste of beer. I wish they had these in high school. Oh, I would've, because now that would've been cool. Like, oh, Sean's drinking craft beer, but I'm actually drinking juice, because this is literally like, I drank Bacardi 03 and like smeared off triple blacks like a loser. Those are two things I have no <laughs> clue what you're talking about. Don't Google it, please. <laughs> and today, once again, you guys, the hot sauce kings of the internet are back. Asterisk, probably not us. Um, we have three sauces. Uh, we have so many small batch hot sauces that get sent to us and we have the the duty to review that. And today, three more. What's our first one, Corey? First up, we've got Bayou Gotham Hot Sauce. This is their Bourbon Cayenne Ruby Rebelle. Oh, does it have like a little? It's like Rebel, uh, but with extra letters. I like Rebelle. It's like, it's Rebel, and then they added an L and an E into it. I yeah. it. Okay. Gorgeous though, the pink and the purple. Beautiful, beautiful body. Body. Bottle. He's getting and body. aroused. I'm sexually aroused. I always have been and I always will be. On the heat meter we've only got a medium, so it should be pretty light for us. Also, I put it to Corey when we shoot the B-roll. Uh, New York City made this hot sauce. Well, not to the city, but it was made by a company in New York City, which when you hear Bayou and you hear Bourbon, all these things, you don't think of New York City, but right here. In Bottled in New York City. Okay, still blast. Storyville. Okay. Do you Story know where Storyville is? Louisiana? I have no clue. Oh, okay. It just says, Hails from Storyville. Red light, hot bed of jazz and vice. Uh, born on the bayou, aged in Gotham. So probably concocted in Louisiana or in that bayou area, and then manufactured in uh, New York City. Storyville? Storyville. Yep, in New Orleans. Oh, look at that. It's a it's a region of downtown New Orleans. Look at that. Look at that, just west of the French Quarter. Look at that. Wow, geography. Anyways. Sorry. Let's tell you how it tastes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, okay. I think that's like a better red hot. Very good, yeah. I just thought some genius. Let's hear it. If you, you, know you say it's like a better red hot, I'm gonna <laughs> spit on you. Um, you know how when you inhale helium, you sound really high pitched? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm what familiar. if... What if they could make a hot sauce from Louisiana that when you ate the hot sauce for the next 15 seconds, your accent was that of someone from the bayou? Look, dude, a lot of legend lives down there. You know, it's a, like a lot of places. It's more, it's like the rumor belt. You know, people still don't trust electricity technology that much. <laughs> It's one of the single <laughs> dumbest ideas I've ever heard in my life. I thought it was pretty good. You can you know, have a real crazy wing party, everyone's got weird accents for 15 seconds, and it's not insensitive because it's just what the hot sauce does. You live in a Anybody else awesome have fantasy land. <laughs> the most boring reality both uh, that I live and then even my fantasy. <laughs> Whatever. What's our second one? Next up, we've got ourselves Dirty Birds Sweet Sauce Ghost. <laughs> so weird that, I don't know. I don't know how those all go together. That's but. funny. There's a guy in uh, college that used to call the guys that would sleep around Dirty Birds. It was like, you're a dirty bird. It was like his catchphrase. I like it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. No, wow, so those are so different. That is hot. Interesting flavor. Yeah, it really is. I really can't tell if I like it or hate it. I'm right there with you. I don't know where. That is so unique. It's a little kimchi-ish. There's something going on that I can't place. That is so weird. It feels like it's every part of my tongue is activated. Ah, I am getting a kimchi-ish flavor. It was in there? No, sesame oil though. Okay. I bet that's the... Oh, that's hot. You know when all the Power Rangers like do the Mastodon, Pterodactyl? That feels like what my tongue's doing. 
My tongue is becoming a Megazord. Megazord power! <laughs> nerd. Like when Conan does his nerd impression. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big sesame oil flavor guy. I've noticed that when we've been eating kimchi stuff recently, and okay. I'm like, I'd rather not have the kimchi, which I think it's a sesame oil. I didn't oh, know that until- I didn't know that either. I didn't know that until I tried that, and that's the part of the flavor that I'm like not really digging. Okay, I can see that. Good I mean, though. That is such a, like you either love that, I better hate it. And it's, it's low enough on that sesame oil that it's not bad, I don't hate it. Okay, yeah. Um, it's just confusing to me. I don't like being confused. I get. I it's mean, it's like a tough puzzle. I don't like it. It'd be weird if people like being in a state of confusion. I like not knowing what's going. It gets me hard. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is sneaky hot. Yeah, it'll get you. I am like really feeling that. Weirdly enough, I'm feeling it, but I think oh, slightly less than you are. Okay, well, flex on me. Yeah, dude, my tongue's so badass. <laughs> All right, you ready to do the last one? Yeah. What do we got? This one says it's hot. This is seed seed ranch. Ah. Leave that in. We've had that before. <laughs> yeah, we've had this brand. This is their hot Thai green hot sauce. I've never seen this before. Green Carolina Reapers, serrano pepper, lemongrass, cilantro, and basil. This looks like something a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle threw up. Yeah, it does. After a night of too much pizza. I see you, Michelangelo. All right, cheers. Cheers. Another very unique flavor. Wow, are these all different? Way different. These two are damn near different than any hot sauce I've ever had. I know. Another one that I'm, I can't tell if I like it or hate it, it's the lemongrass. Yeah, that's a very distinct flavor. The lemongrass is one of those flavors I'm like, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I hate it. These are so weird. It's so lemongrassy. Like that hits me more than anything else. Even more than the vinegar. It says it's inspired by one of their favorite Thai recipes. Okay. And I can totally vibe that. Wow, that is super unique. Having all three, I still don't know which one's my favorite. I have to think here for a second. Oh, yeah, none of them were great. I feel like in a three-on-one death match, like celebrity death match, our hotter sixer sauce would just trounce all of these. Absolutely, bodies. there's no doubt. All right, well, before we go ahead and pick our favorite here today, because, you know, in these videos, we gotta pick a favorite. We gotta put our stamp of approval on something. Let's do a shout out. Merch shout out, merch shout out, merch shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got an awesome merch store. You can get some of our really cool shirts, just like the Monday Drunk shirt. We had a new shirt drop recently, the Jump Cut shirt. It's super, super awesome. And then we've talked about our hotter Sixer sauce and our regular Sixer sauce. Those are absolutely amazing. And anybody who buys anything is gonna get a shout out from us. We're gonna give you a couple of people who bought more than one item and got to jump to the front of the shout out line. Shout outs right now. Merch shot number one goes to Clinton Township, Michigan's own Lisa Lineker. Woohoo! A damn, damn, damn G. Always supporting the show. In this specific instance, she bought a hot sauce and two koozies. Well, there you go. Oh, hey. Two koozies? Lisa, uh, shout out to Michigan. Shout out to Clinton Township. I used to work out there. And shout out to you. Thank you. And merch shot number two goes Mr. Matt Verdi. Huge supporter of the show. We've given him many a shout out on this channel because he's always supporting us. This particular time, he bought himself two bottles of Sixer sauce and we sent those out to Cadillac, yep. Michigan. Cadillac, baby. What a cool name of a town. Absolutely. Gotta love it. We appreciate you, Matt and Shelby. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. If any of you fine folks wanna grab yourself some gear or hot sauce, head on over to number 6 with cheesecom Solid website. Solid. All right, don't forget, um, I honestly don't forget, we didn't remind you at first. We're gonna open up a pretty dope package at the end of this video, but before we do that, Super like the video, dope. like and the video. hot sauce related. Hot sauce related. Um, so like the video, and um, now we're gonna pick our favorite, so go ahead and hit the like, thank you so much. Uh, you know, shout out to the Monday crew. The people that watch the Monday videos, you're the real Gs. All right, um, here's what we do, pick our favorite. Uh, resident drummer, Mr. Eric McCluskey. Thank you so much, sir. All right, uh, man, on the count of three, you're gonna pick your favorite sauce here today. Corey Wagner, are you ready? Yes, sir. One, two, three. Yeah, and this was a close, this wasn't close like some of them where they're great and they're close. I know. This was like a battle of the bottom. It was like <laughs> not. Three power bottoms? Yeah, none of these really did it for me. Right. Um, but this was okay-ish. I agree. These were too weird. I don't think I would ever use these in my day-to-day -day life. That one I might. Yeah. You said it perfectly. There's something about having like a traditional Louisiana Franks Tabasco in your house. And I feel like that could be the small batch version of that. Yeah, we could some support a smaller company. And uh, I think you could do a, a trade Z's and be good. I think so. Probably a little more expensive, I'm assuming, than just the dollar bottle of Tabasco, but whatever. Um, guys, let us know if you've had any of these three. 
We're back here tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, get the jersey, dude. The Monday drunk jersey. It's a t-shirt, but like wear it like it's a, like you're going to game seven and you gotta get drunk on this Monday. I finished my beer. So one of the few times I can say, sure, I finished my drink. That's so cool. <laughs>Welcome to the After the Bumper. We've got the goods. This is a big one. Yeah. Super excited for this. We already know what's in here. They mailed it to us by special request. Actually, we didn't re they requested us. They wanted to give it to us. Nuts in here. Uh, honestly, it's become a real, a real friend online. Uh, a real Instagram pal. Uh, we exchange a lot of DMs with the god that is hot sauce, Mr. and Mrs. Truff. So we got the hot, we got the OG. Oh, look at the packaging on the that. white, The white truffle, which is like $1,000 a bottle. I'm just kidding, it's, I think it's $34.99 a bottle. It's incredible. Corey and I have only ever had the hot sauces. I've had the mayo. A fan sent us the mayo. We've never had the pasta sauces. Dude, this is like $300 for Dude, for <laughs> real though. All right, you open this one, I'll yeah. open the smaller one. Oh, this is the pasta sauce. Thank God. Bro, black truffle pomodoro. And then we've also got black truffle arrabbiata. <laughs> Bro, I bet these are so good. I cannot wait to have a pasta night with those. And then two more, a fan sent us these. We've been super fortunate. I have been using these, you guys, in my normal life. If you can believe this, outside of the show, I eat these. This is the regular and the spicy mayo. We got both those? I've been absolutely, yes. I oh, got wow, both of my cool. house. Yeah. Oh. We each get two pasta sauces and two mayos, and we each get more hot sauce. Dude, truff. You guys are the best, man. I cannot wait to try this pasta sauce. I'm Dude, so that's so good. Um, guys, if you want to send us stuff, the address is below 3023 North Clark Street, Box 847, Chicago, Illinois, 60657. It is always linked below every single YouTube video. So if you want to send us anything, I'm so excited. Um, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for sticking around for the We Got The Goods, and enjoy your Monday. Life is short. <laughs> Got real dark I'm there. I'm a prophet. <laughs> Shut up.